Sully the seagull lived by the ocean with lots of other seagulls. It was a great place to live. They could fly around in the fresh air. The sun was always shining. And they could find lots of food to eat on the beach. But every once in a while, a great big wave would wash up on the shore. Whenever a big wave was coming, the seagulls would fly up to the tops of the trees so that the wave didn't wash them away. Sully had an important job to do. His job was to watch the ocean and tell all the other seagulls when a big wave was coming. Sully would warn the seagulls, and the seagulls would leave their food and fly up into the trees. One day, Sully decided to play a joke on all of the other seagulls. There was no wave coming, but Sully told them there was a wave coming. All of the seagulls dropped their food and flew up into the trees. When they got there, they saw Sully laughing. Ha ha ha, I tricked you all. That was so funny. The other seagulls didn't think it was very funny. He decided to do it again. There was no big wave, but Sully told them there was a big wave coming. The other seagulls weren't sure if they should believe him. I'm not tricking you this time, I promise, Sully shouted. There's a big wave coming right now. All of the seagulls dropped their food again and flew up into the trees. When they got there, they saw Sully laughing again. Ha ha ha, I tricked you again. The other seagulls didn't think it was very funny. Sully wanted to do his joke one more time. But just then he looked out into the ocean and he saw a really big wave coming. Sully went to warn the other seagulls. There's a giant wave coming. You have to move or you'll be washed away. But now, the other seagulls didn't believe Sully at all. I promise I'm not tricking you. A wave is really coming this time. But the seagulls still didn't move. The big wave came and washed away all of the seagulls. Before Sully broke a promise, the seagulls all trusted Sully. They believed his promises, and they moved up in the tree because they believed him. His promises were strong. When Sully was breaking his promises, the other seagulls didn't trust Sully anymore. They stopped believing him, and they wouldn't move even when he promised. His promises became weak. Do you know whose promises are the strongest of all? Heavenly Father's promises. Heavenly Father will never break a promise, ever. That's why we can have faith in him. If he makes a promise to us, he will keep that promise, always. When we make promises together with Heavenly Father, like when we are baptized or when we take the sacrament, that's called a covenant. C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T Covenant Heavenly Father makes promises to us. 
and we make promises to Him. His promises are always strong promises. And if we make our promises strong too, covenants can give us extra strength, faith, and protection. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized in the name of the Lord, as a witness before him that ye have entered into a covenant with him, that ye will serve him and keep his commandments, that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you? Mosiah 18.10 Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. LatterdayKids.com